until 2012, the most effective pharmaceutical treatment for hep C was interferon-based. I know that many patients undergoing these treatments experience quite significant side effects. We're entering a new and promising era for treatment, with around 30 new and improved hep C drugs in trial phase at present, and some are already available in Scotland. My predecessor established a treatment and therapy subgroup to generate principles and guidance in relation to hep C diagnosis and treatment in the era of interferon-free therapy. And I know that the patient voice is represented on that group. The outcome of that work will be incorporated into the next iteration of our sexual health and blood-borne viruses framework. At the moment, however, SOS Bufir is already been, has already been approved for use in Scotland by the Scottish Medicines Consortium. NHS boards in Scotland are already making it available to patients. But we can't overestimate the significant challenges associated with the cost of these drugs and working, we are working hard to find solutions to this challenge. It's also important that patients are involved in discussions about their treatment with their specialists and I very much recognise the need for this.